We've seen the, the damage inflicted on our community, the loss of life, crime, violence. We've seen death. Over the last 10 years, I've seen a huge increase in overdoses, and I've seen people die from this that didn't need to die. Their breathing will slow down or stop. Their muscles will become lax, slump over. Pupils become pinpoints, so they're not speaking, they're not moving. Their lips could be turning blue, and essentially your brain forgets to breathe. So unless there's some intervention, they're not going to get better. It's the immediate antidote, I guess we'd call it, for um, a person in crisis with uh, having ingested drugs. Naloxone is a competitive antagonist, it's called. It's harmless. Unless somebody's allergic to it, it's not going to cause any effects. It's very specific for opioid receptors in the brain. When it's given to people, it will reverse an overdose because it, it competes and it actually outcompetes um, the opioid. And it's a life saving tool. It's only temporary, however, so depending on how much of an opioid somebody has taken, it may only be temporary and somebody might slip back into overdose. To administer naloxone, the first rule is to call 911. The danger is when naloxone will wear off after half an hour, 45 minutes. When it wears off, he's going to be back in the same situation. So that's why they need to call 911 and we need to take him to the hospital. People sometimes are afraid to report an overdose because they fear that they will be charged. And it would be great if every jurisdiction could develop a Good Samaritan law to ensure that people who are acting in the best interest of others are not charged with any wrongdoing. The preservation of life is our paramount concern in any matter that we become involved in as a police service. So of course the 911 drug overdose, our concern is that the victim um, receives the treatment and care that they require to sustain their life and recover. We're not there to lay criminal charges or in this case, um, drug related charges. That's not our focus. We are one partner in, in a process of, or a collaborative that would hopefully bring some relief to our community and uh, in positively dealing with the issue. But uh, without the other partners, we just can't uh, go it alone. So we need the harm reduction, we need the education prevention pieces, and we definitely need the treatment. Every life is important. We can't sit from on high and judge whose life is worth more than another's. And if naloxone isn't given, then there is no chance for recovery. But if naloxone is given and a life is saved, that might be the beginning of somebody choosing to take a different course in their life. A potential drug overdose knows no socioeconomic boundary. It could be anybody's son or daughter, it could be anybody's father or mother, so we have to respond appropriately.